Well, we've been living now for 18 months with extraordinary restrictions of one kind or another. It does look as if, thanks to the success of the vaccine programme, that we now have the scope to roll back those restrictions and return to normality as far as possible. We should all be prepared, though, that cases may continue to rise. They may continue to rise significantly, but we do now have to move into a different period where we learn to live with the virus, we take precautions, and we as individuals take personal responsibility. Do you see some kind of social tensions in all of this new period where some cautious people are wearing masks and other people are not wearing masks, some are trying to socially distance, other people are refusing to socially distance? In other words, you are throwing a bit of tension into the community, aren't you? I, I hope not. We trust the British public to exercise good judgment. People will come to different conclusions as you say, there'll be things that we all need to do. We all need to ensure that we are double vaccinated, and that will be absolutely critical if we want to maintain this momentum. There are still people in those categories one to nine who haven't come forward to be vaccinated. We will also right. need to ensure that people get the booster jabs when they come sure. online, and also so we'll need to ensure that people get flu jabs, because that will be yeah. a very important element in our plan in the autumn and the winter. But so far as you're concerned, you expect all mask wearing, all restrictions to go on the 19th? Well, I can't make that uh, commitment this morning because the Prime Minister is going to uh, make an announcement in the coming days. But it does, well, that's the it he's do make, it does it? look as if the data is in the right place. Cases are rising, as I say, and that should make us cautious, but it isn't translating into serious illness and death. And so it does feel as if we are now in the final furlong, in a period in which we can start to live with the virus and move on with our lives. We've been talking about England. Scotland's being described in some of the papers as Europe's coronavirus hotspot at the moment. And do you expect Scotland and Wales and Northern Ireland to follow suit around the 19th? Well, I don't know. We would like the whole of the union to move as one. We're going to work with Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland to try to be as coordinated as possible. Cases are slightly different in each of the four nations, but certainly in England, our view is that things are looking positive for July the 19th. And do you think people will be able to travel to ambulance countries if they're double vaccinated without quarantine? Well, again, the, we're still looking at the data and uh, an announcement will be made ahead of step four in that regard. But it is our objective, yes, that those who are double vaccinated should be able to travel to ambulance countries as soon as possible, including for holidays.